Okay, so I have seen all Tamu commercials, and it is Tamu. I've seen all of the haul, not all of them, but I've seen a number of hauls from people getting stuff from Tamu. And so I figured I had to give it a try. Years ago, when Wish was a big thing, I got addicted very quickly to Wish and started getting packages every day. And at the time, my husband said, you need to stop ordering all this junk. And so I did. And now I've got my new Wish, basically, because now it's Tamu, Tamu. And I don't have a husband now to say stop buying stuff. So I don't want to get addicted, though. The thing is, they have free shipping. And I think on your first order, you still are able to get 30% off. And then, you know, lots of people that have done hauls, they're sponsored. And so they're giving, I think it's an additional discount on top of the 30% you would normally get, I think. Don't quote me. And Valentine's Day right now is like, you know, 150% off or some such thing. 90% off, I think. So if it's not too late for you to get Valentine's Day, then now's the time. The shipping on this, because I am, I was used to Wish, it would take, you know, a month, two months, you'd get an item, and it was horrible. Uh, this, I ordered it on the 19th of January. I received the package on the 26th. So that's exactly a week that it took for me to get this, which to me is quick. You know, if I were to order on eBay, it would take a week. If I were to order on Amazon, it would be a day. But you know what I mean? So a week is not bad at all for these prices and free shipping. So... I spent total $33.78 for everything, and then I'll go through how much each item cost. I opened the bag just to see what was in there and then to write down the, the price, but I haven't opened anything up. So we're going to open everything up, see what it is, see if it's complete junk, or see if it's any good and you should order it as well. So let's go take a look. All right, so first we have a drawer. Now this is much smaller than I thought it would be. I don't know why I thought it would be bigger, but it is. I mean, it's not bigger than, how do you, I don't even know how you get it open. So it's supposed to go underneath your little desk and then you open it and you got your stuff inside. So pens, pencils, scissors that can attach to underneath my desk. That's what I purchased this for. And this, was four dollars and 49 cents it measures 8.7 inches by 6.1 and again it just slides open it's just a little drawer that slides open you attach this to the underneath of your desk they've got both screws and sticky paper uh, or sticky pads that you can either stick it or or uh, screw it i'll probably stick it in case i hate it and want to take it off so that's the, the small drawer, they did have another size as well that was even smaller, but this is really small anyway. So that's the drawer, $4.49 for that. This is funny. So, you know, you're not supposed to clean your ears with, with Q-tips. And I always use Q-tips, and so it's not good for you. So I stopped using Q-tips, and this is my resolution to not using Q-tips. This is a wireless ear endoscope. It's an ear cleaner. And I thought this was funny, so I don't know. You know, I would give it a try. We'll see what happens. Sorry, I've got hair in my mouth. Um, and so, ear cleaner with camera. And so, you're supposed to be able to connect it to your phone. And there's a little camera on the end of the tip there. So when you put it near your ear, you can see what's in your ear and you can clean your ear without damaging the eardrum or pushing the wax into your ear. This is really disgusting actually, but if you wanna be healthy, you have to have clean ears and you shouldn't use Q-tips. You can use hydrogen peroxide or they've got other fluids you could use as well, but I thought I'd give this a try. So it comes with the, the, mach the machine, the, is that a machine, that thing? It comes with a couple of extra tips and then, of course, the USB cord to charge it. And again, it is wireless and there's a camera and you have an app, I imagine, that you're gonna, I'm going to connect to my phone. So that's a wireless ear cleaner with camera. So strange. So random. <laughs> Uh-oh, there was that. 
All right, and then we've got, this is a manicure. Oh, uh, the ear cleaner was $9.39. And then we've got this manicure set. This manicure set was $3.59. So there's a small file and there's a little brush. Why is there a brush? I don't know. But there, these hearts were separate and then... Come on, people. There we go. Uh-oh. And then it comes with two nail clippers, some scissors, a small nail file, a tweezer, um, and some other nail type products that I don't know what they are. I don't know what you would use them for. But so that's that. This is actually, it's a very nice heavy weight. Let me see this nail clipper. Let's see. Yeah, see, it's kind of dull. I don't like, it doesn't cut well. It's, it doesn't cut well. It's, um, it, it'll cut. It did cut my nail, but it's, mm, it's okay. How about that? It's okay. You can use it if, like, put it in your purse, and if you need to quickly, or in your pocket or whatever, and if you need to quickly cut something, you know, I don't know. But the nail file, the real nail file, doesn't actually fit in there, so that's interesting. I wonder, okay, so if you, if you rearrange, then you can make the nail file fit inside, which is what I would want. I would want the nail file to fit inside. I don't know what that brush was for that fell on the ground. Let's see. Do you use a brush like this when you do your nails? I don't know. I don't do my nails, obviously. My hands look rough, so, you know, whatever. And then we have, oh, this is cute. This is a purse hanger. Um, what is it called? Product name, hook. <laughs> it's called a hook. Phone, uh, purse hook is what it is. And... Oh my goodness gracious, paintball, paintball. And so what you do is when you're at a restaurant or whatever, you put this on the table and then you can hang your purse anywhere that has a table that you can attach this to. So you just, um, you can keep it in your purse. It's very light and you just hang it from the edge of the table and your purse hangs from it so that your purse should never sit on the floor in case you for some reason don't know that. And um, if there's not enough space, like if you're in a chair or something like that, instead of a booth. Does that make sense? So purse hanger, good. Purse hanger was a dollar and 29 cents. Dollar 29. So something you get at Dollar Tree, basically. And then I got a package of half rounds. This is 100 pieces of half rounds, 15 millimeter, and these were $2.98. I don't remember how much the price is on Amazon. It's probably semi similar, I'm gonna guess. But this was $2.98, there's 100, 100 pieces. This is interesting. This is wood pieces. Um, these wood squares, there's 50 of them. Let me get one out so you can see. They're just very thin wood squares uh, for crafting. They're very, very thin. They're bendable and all, very thin. Uh, but 50 pieces, and these were $8.09. I'm thinking Amazon probably would have been better for this. I don't know for sure, but... Just keep in mind, they're very thin. Now, there are 50 of them, so I guess that's good. And, you know, you could probably make all sorts of things. We'll see if I'm able to do anything with these. I mean, I know I will be, but if I actually will do something with these, that's another story. So we'll see. I think building, like, when you have a drawer and you want separators, you could just use cardboard or you could make it attractive and use something like this. That was my initial idea. 
so and these would be easy to cut because they're so thin so that could probably work so we'll see we'll see if we can use those and this is a big one. Oh, this is a rug so in out in my bathroom right now both bathrooms i have these really nice <laughs> i don't know if people maybe think i'm crazy these really nice fuzzy rugs fuzz, fuzzy like fur rugs and they're white um, just because of the the scheme of my bathrooms they're white and so they're getting although they're probably they're a year over a year old now so i do need new ones and the store i got it at home goods is that the right place home goods with the red lettering i think so home goods and they don't have them anymore that i've been able to find they're all like pink or gray and i want white because that's the way i am so it, with all that said i got a rug and this is a quite a bit the hair is quite a bit longer than the ones i have which i wanted short hair because it feels better to me and it looks better but this actually isn't bad it's got a nice backing so it won't be sliding around too much and it doesn't look too bad. Like, I'm okay with that. I'm totally okay with that. And when I'm washing the ones that I have, because I just put them in the washing machine with bleach, which is why I always get white, because I can bleach them over and over and over again, and I don't have to worry about any type of bacteria or germs or what have you. But anyway, so while I'm washing those, I could use this. And I will need another one for the other bathroom, but I just wanted to test and see what it was like. It feels, you know... It feels kind of how it looks. It, it doesn't feel nice like the ones that I have in my bathroom currently are. They feel delightful on your feet. This is okay. It's okay though. But it was only, well, it was $11.18 and it measures 23 by 35. And again, it does have the nice backing. So I, I do like that. And then I think we are down to our last, we are our last item. What is this? Oh, this is a identity protection something. Um, how do you open it? With scissors. That's how I open it. And so this. What is this? There's a pokey thing sticking out. I don't know why. I don't know what that is. This, you have this. Um, stamp and then you cover your address let's actually do it you cover your address so that your address is masked so for example when i'm doing a youtube video and i'm showing you something that i ordered and i don't want you all to come to my house and see my address i would use this to cover to cover that address and it works well it's quite wet and it looks like so when it's on paper they, they put some nines on there i'm not sure why they did that that is kind of not a good idea but anyway so it looks like that it's okay i don't know it's okay how much was this this was 19 cents probably why it was 19 cents uh because this was one of the deals somehow you get special price on your first purchase and so there were like 10 items or there's a whole list of items that I could get for cheap but you only get to choose one at that low price so this I guess is the one I got for 19 cents I don't know what this oh this is to help open so this opens your mail and then you push down and it's out of the way so that's cute I mean it's cute it's not you know it's it's worth 19 cents <laughs> I would absolutely buy this for a quarter at any store absolutely and that's it. That's all I got. That's the end of the table. So fun. So was it worth it? Yeah, I think I think it was worth it. The only thing I was not happy with is this drawer. It's halfway decent quality. It's 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 plastic and, and it's kind of a cheap plastic. But it's just small and I know how to measure. And eight by six in my mind just seemed like it would be bigger. So this is the only thing I'm not really happy with. Everything else, you know, it's okay. It's it's worth the price that I paid. If I would have paid, you know, twenty dollars for the for the wood pieces, I would have been mad. You know what I mean? So the price that you pay, you, you're getting what you pay for, basically. 
You're not getting anything wonderful or extreme, but you're getting what you pay for and maybe a little bit more on some items. So that's my honest review of my first order on Temu. I do recommend going, giving it a try. There's millions of items on there, like I think literally, and you can find anything you want. So it's just uh, Temu.com or there is an app. If you get the app, I think you get another discount, another 10% off or something like that. And there's always a deal going on, so if you ever see a price and there's no special on it, just wait a day or two and it'll go on sale and be, you know, 165% off or whatever. Okay? All right, so that's all I've got today. So go ahead and always remember to leave a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe. When you subscribe, go ahead and, and hit the bell so that you know when my next video comes out. And then also remember to always appreciate today as tomorrow is never promised. Thanks, y'all. Y'all have a great one.